Whoa. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Press X. Uh, let's design our pizza, guys. Let's do pepperoni and mushrooms. Why not? Now let's go to pizzeria. Oh, that's how we do this. Okay, one thing I need to mention, guys. Welcome back to another video where today we will be playing Finance at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator. And yeah, I've watched this game, but I've never played it myself, so this will be fun. Oh no. Okay, I know how to get past this guy, so we gotta hit him once. Oh no, okay, so, yeah, I remember this part, so it basically we, we glitch, yeah, we're glitching. Uh, what's happening? Okay, I gotta explain this game. So if you haven't played this game before, or seen this game before, Basically, you are an owner of Freddy Fazbear's, and you have to buy animatronics or salvage them, which is what we're doing right now. This is a salvage, and basically those animatronics will be released into your restaurant. It's confusing. We're just going to go ahead and proceed with the salvage. Um, Begin let's hit play. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. So the audio prompt actually doesn't do anything, I don't think. I think basically when you flip the paper up and down, you just have to document check and results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. One. I don't think it matters what you put down either. So I'm just gonna put something random down. Document results. Yes. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. This one's really long, guys. It's still going, man. Document results. Oh, okay. No. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Um. Yo, she's looking at me. Okay. Um. That's not creepy it's at a all. New day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. <laughs> You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Oh, that's gamble definitely that advisable. Gamble a 100% chance of success in some cases. In some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. 
Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it, and that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget nice. about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Nice. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. <laughs> but there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. But be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Yeah, like an animatronic. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They just said disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay. If you've watched the FNAF movie trailer, it says a whole bunch of kids disappeared. And basically the police were ever were searched Freddy's top to bottom and weren't able to find anything. So I'm wondering if this has anything to do with that. If we are the owner of this restaurant of Fazbear Entertainment. So um yeah. Let's get started. So I have watched this game, so I kinda know the gist Let's of how to see play how it. Much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Uh -oh. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled finished in blueprint mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Nice, okay. So, I think we have we have 100 bucks. I think we are going to buy some paper cups and plates a single stage and I think we're gonna buy bucket Bob why not let's buy a bucket Bob and let's buy a duck pond that just sounds awesome okay let's go into blueprint mode let's add bucket Bob boom there he is I did not mean to hit that. I did Your not mean to. is now officially open. Awesome. I didn't mean to hit that, that button. Job is now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. Oh, no. It won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools I'm just gonna available order from all the this terminal stuff. itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. 
Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Just do our tasks and hope that nothing comes out and gets us. Come on. All right, log off. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang Boom. of this. Boom. Let's now go. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Okay. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. All right. Awesome. Congratulations on completing your first day. Oh, However, no. your job isn't over just yet. There's another oh. aspect of your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently, if you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. Okay. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. I say we proceed with the salvage. I say we go for it, man. That's five hundred dollar dues that we get if we proceed with the salvage. So I say we go for it. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. No. Oh, he moved. He moved. He moved. All right, he moved. I, I just zapped him. An I, audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio he moved prompt again. in three, two, one. All right, I think we're okay. I think he can get one stage closer, and then we have to zap him. Document results. Begin. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's getting really close. I'm just gonna zap him. Audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, this one's terrible. The light's flickering. Why is the light flickering?
document results. Oh gosh, no! Oh no! I should have known I lost the salvage and something is loose in your pizzeria. Oh no. I should have known, man. The light was flickering. The light was flickering. The light was flickering. Oh man. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, we have 200 bucks to spend. Let's buy the paper pals. Why not? Oh, okay. See, I want to buy this. But it says warning, purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a slight... See, I want to buy this, but it says warning, purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a slight risk of something undesirable hiding inside. I'm going to buy it. Oh, hey, now we have Stan's budget tech. Oh no, here we go, we got some animatronics. Let's buy the traffic light. Alright, let's go into blueprint mode here. So, oh, we have a sponsorship offer. Okay, I'm going to take it. You know why? So here's the thing about sponsorships. They're going to appear while you're trying to work during the night. But I'm going to accept it because we get $500 dues if we do that. This is what I meant to do. Let's put our duck pond down. Boom, let's play, let's play test our duck pond. Play test. 100, nice, let's go. 100, okay. This one up here. 500, let's go. I'm just better at this. Boom. Alright, let's go back to the catalog. Should we buy an animatronic? Alright, first we need a better stage. Should we buy an animatronic? Let's buy Mr. Hippo. I didn't mean to do that! Alright. Okay. Let's just order some cups. I swear I swear I just heard something. There's someone right here. There's someone right here. There's someone right here. What am I supposed to do? No, no. Scan for motion. No, no, there's someone right there, bro. And we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of here, man. Log off. All right. Oh my goodness. Closing time. Woo. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist Ooh, before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Okay, so I actually think we're going to stop with, at this episode here, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. So, I actually think we're going to stop this episode right here. And we will continue this salvage in the next episode if you want to see that, guys. 
Anyway, though, like and subscribe. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!